Hey guys, if you're in 91, I'm talking about the Super Nintendo and the Nintendo Switch. Why? Because the Nintendo Switch has now officially sold more copies than the Super Nintendo. And that was seen to be a successful system. Now let's just look at this in comparison. The Super Nintendo sold around 49.1 million units, while, while the Nintendo Switch has sold over 52 million units. And the Nintendo Switch isn't even three years old yet. It turns three years old, I believe, this March. So it's amazing that the Nintendo Switch has been able to sell that many units when the Super Nintendo, which was considered a successful console, actually sold less than that in a lifetime. I mean, it just shows how well the Switch is doing. See, the difference between the Switch and the Wii U, the Switch really appeals to a lot of people. Why? Mostly because of the on-the-go feature. Let's face it, being able to play full AAA games on the go, that's just something that most people haven't experienced and basically no other console has. So it's not a gimmick. It's not like the motion controls on the Wii, even though the Wii sold around 100 million units. Basically, it's something that matches a lot of people's lifestyles, especially in the Western and I think even in part of the Eastern, like Japan and them, where a lot of people will have time where they're out or whatnot, and they just have time to kill almost because they're either on the subway or they're driving with friends somewhere or something, and they're like, hey, I'm just going to pull my Switch and play. So it is good to see how well Nintendo has done with the Switch, especially after the debacle that was the Wii U. But herein lies the problem still. Nintendo Switch cannot last. Obviously, it's already behind the last generation consoles, so it definitely won't be able to compete with the next generation consoles when it comes to graphics and whatnot. And this is supposed to be coming out near the end of this year. So I feel that Nintendo has one hurdle to kind of climb over. They can't repeat the Wii U. The Switch is being deadly successful. This could actually beat the Wii if sales continue like they do, or even get better, who knows? So I really don't want Nintendo to make the same mistake twice, where the next Switch, they simply borrow too much from this Switch, people get confused, people are not even sure that this is a new console or not, kind of like with the Wii U, and then all of a sudden, sales decline. But unfortunately, Nintendo has kind of painted themselves into this corner because with the Switch's mobility feature, they're going to have to create that in the next model. You cannot go from the Switch to a stationary console. You could go from a stationary console to the Switch, but not from the Switch to a stationary console. People, especially adults who have busy lives, really like that they could take their AAA games wherever they go. So the next model has to be, I believe, different enough than the Switch to actually make people realize it's another console, but similar enough to the Switch that people can still take their games wherever on the go relatively easily. So, so I think Nintendo has kind of painted themselves into a corner here because you can't repeat the mistake with the Wii U, but you also do kind of have to model your next console based off the Switch since the Switch is so successful and people who play the Switch, I believe, really like the whole being able to take it anywhere. You can't take that away, in my opinion, in the next console. But what do you guys think about the Switch selling more than the Super Nintendo and Nintendo's general future with their consoles? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, like, subscribe. May God bless you all.